Hi, I'm Brian. My son Mitch is behind the camera. Welcome back to sunny Minnesota and today we're going to talk about accessorizing the elevator. I have to say, I never expected, we're up to about a quarter of a million views on the video uh, to build the elevator. I had no idea it was going to happen. But anyway, if you could, please click subscribe. I don't post a lot of videos. I'm not a YouTuber, but it'd be cool to subscribe. Maybe I'll get a dollar from, from uh, YouTube. I don't even know how to do that, but if you can do that, that'd be great. Thank you. Well, let me show you a couple things that we did to the elevator since I built it. Uh, I want to address a lot of safety concerns because people were writing in about safety concerns. Number one, I said before, don't ride the elevator. Um, don't ride the elevator. The uh, one thing I put on there is I put a couple of hue bulbs up in the, uh, in the uh, attic. And then I added this wireless light switch right here. So all I have to do is push the button on and push the button off. And I can control the lights from down here without any electrical wiring. So it's really slick, it's hue by Phillips. One of the safety items people talked about were, I mean, which is really unbeknownst to me, is that the uh, eye bolt that I used um, was rated, I couldn't believe it. They, somebody told me it was rated at 200 pounds, two to 300 pounds. And when I looked it up, it, it, it says it is two, two to 300 pounds, which is ridiculous. Um, but regardless, this um, forged one only costs around $11, and you can get them anywhere. And this thing's rated at like, I don't know, 5,000 pounds or 10,000 pounds, some crazy thing like that, but way more than I'm ever gonna lift, right? Maybe even 50,000 pounds, it's nuts. But um, anyway, so I just swapped that out. It was pretty simple to do. I added a couple of handles up here. So when I'm uh, <laughs> loading the cargo, um, I have something to hold on to when I'm loading the cargo. And then the biggest thing that I did was I added these fall arresters, which I'm going to go into some detail, but I got one for each side. Let me turn on the light much. Um, but I'm gonna, we're going to go up there and I'm going to show you how the fall arresters um, are, uh, I don't know, how they work and how they're connected and so on and so forth. So thanks. Okay, safety related. I got a lot of comments about safety. Again, I'm I'm telling you, don't ride it. It's just for lifting cargo. You know, um, enough said. The um, the biggest thing is I added these these fall arresters. People use them when they're climbing telephone poles. They attach them to a harness, and so if they fall, the retractors kick in like seatbelt retractors, and they stop the fall. Right. So as an example, if it goes down, it'll go down slowly, no problem. But if it starts to go down fast, it'll grab it. Right. Just like that. Okay, the little, little things pop out and it stops it. So there's one on each side. They're fairly cheap. I'll put a, a, a link in the description as to where to buy them, but I think they were like 80 bucks or something. Pretty cheap insurance, but I will say that it's um, uh, some of the most expensive stuff I put on the whole lift. But, you know, it's worth it, I think. So we added it. Uh, it works pretty well. We tried it out, you know, once or twice. A little bounce to it, but it did do the job. It actually stopped it from coming down. So um, the only, I would show you one thing, you know, we got, I think these are like 12 feet and they still didn't, didn't have quite enough throw. So when I, one drawback to this, and maybe when you do yours, you can fix it. When I bring it all the way to the top, they kind of do this, but they're not gonna unhook, they're fine. They, they do just fine. What is taking so long? He said he'd be right back for the conclusion of the video. He left me down there, left the re left the remote down. Not that I would ride it anyway. So, all right, hold on. I gotta I gotta find a way to get down. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bust out the ladder. All right, now that I have this ladder put away, where did he go? Uh, he, he told me he'd be right back, and you guys have no idea how hot it is up in that attic. Oh, what what are you doing out here? Well, we're done. What, you left me up there. Oh, sorry about that. I bet you could use a cold one. I could? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, I don't like. So listen, um, if you would please, if you would please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the accessorizing, adding the safety features to the elevator. But if you could please subscribe. I only post a couple videos a year. I'm not a big YouTuber, but I think I need a bunch of subscribers to get any money from YouTube. And I might be able to get like a couple bucks or something. So do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, would you please? Thank you.